Welcome to another video by Stoner Academy and in this one we're going to talk about how you can make money answering five core questions a day. It doesn't have to be just five, it can be more, it can be less, it is up to you. But on my screen I'm going to show you how you can get your best answers out there, how you can show your answers to the public and later on start your journey there. So as a writer I have an inspirational story for you guys because I know an influencer that started his journey on Quora. He started writing answers there and he got uh, really good with it to the point where a lot of big time newspapers like New York Times are asking for his articles or his answers on Quora, which is really good. I've already done a video on Quora in a way in a previous video about social media traffic, how you can get social media traffic, but still I wanted to go more in depth about Quora in this one. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like it. Leave a like, subscribe, do anything. Enjoy the video because now it's time for the intro. Welcome to the Quora home screen and this is after you make your profile. This is the screen that you're most likely going to get. Now, the first thing that I want to tell you guys about is how you can actually come down to make your own profile. You just go to Quora, sign up, follow some topics and do follow some topics that you know about. And I already talked about these things in a previous video, but on this one, I'm going to go more in depth, tell you a story about uh, how one man was able to become a social influencer through writing on Quora and how he started off his career just like that. So if you're a writer, this will be especially useful for you. So check it out. Usually the first thing that you're going to do when you sign up is you follow some topics. And it is really important to follow some topics that you already know about and that there are already people that follow those topics as well. So it should be somewhat of a broad topic. Don't just pick uh, a really specific one that not a lot of people are interested in. But pick a big one so that later on more people can see the answer that you have. So why do I say you should pick uh, a topic that you already know some stuff about and the reason for that is because you can be able to write some good answers for that you can try and experiment and go with another topic you don't know and learn there which is all really cool but I still recommend if you're just starting out pick some topics that you already know and so like I said let's see that this question what were the greatest buffs ever made in history so if you like history what can happen is you can start answering these questions and we're going to open them right now and I'm going to share with you guys some tips, some tricks and some advice on what you can do when writing these things. So check it out. As you can see, this has 272 upvotes and it has 28,000 views. Now let that sink in and let's say that even... Uh, 1,000 people click on a link that you provide. That will be really good and it's going to provide you with a lot of traffic. But before that happens, you need to know that you should answer some questions that are worth your wow. Answer questions that you see that are trending. So as you can see, this question was trending at the time and it's still trending. And what can happen is you can answer it and people are going to see your answers. This has 510 followers, meaning uh, 500 people still going to receive news when somebody new answers this. And what else you can do is answer a new question that's just popping up. And if you have experience, you can know if it's going to start trending. And this whole question altogether has 2 million views. Now, that's a lot of people for one question. And some tips on writing these answers. But before I start even talking about them, I would like you to see these other answers as well. So check it out. 159 upvotes. And it doesn't share with me how many views it has. But this has 3K views. And if we scroll down, we're going to find that more people have more views. 3.5K views, which is really good. Now, what I recommend you guys do when writing answers to these questions is you write them as in-depth as possible. And write them so that even a two-year-old can understand the question and give them something extra. And also write to them. Uh, try to find your writing style 
so that I know some people that are writing answers to where they're actually talking with you. So it looks like a conversation somebody's having. And I can't stress this enough that you should keep on uh, posting or writing quality content in here, in here, quality answers. That's the gist of it. And now how you can get the traffic from these answers to go to your blog. So check this out. They have links, but these are useful links from Wikipedia. What can happen is uh, you can use links from your own website. If you have a website about history and if you have an article specifically about this answer, what you can do is answer this question as in-depth as possible and if you can, but only if you can, add your website in there so that you can tell people if they want to read more, they can check it out. And don't uh, be just putting it out there. Don't just uh, write an answer just to give them uh, your article. You should really concentrate on giving them a good answer and if you can, then to put in your blog in here. But do use links from other websites as well that you find useful. Now, that is basically it about Quora. That is all there is to explain. The, the next thing that you guys should do is keep on writing and find your own style and learn from the best. Learn what they are doing because that is what Nicholas Cole was doing. That is the influencer that I was talking about. And his story is really interesting because what he did was uh, he finished, uh, I think, I don't remember the name of the college, but I know he finished and got a degree in writing. And he was one of the top of the class. And a professor of his told them that if they want to succeed as a writer in this day and age, they should know how to go online. So what he did was he got a job where he had to work in online marketing or he was able to learn about online marketing through that job. I don't remember correctly, but if I find the article, I'm going to post it in the description. And what he did... Uh, he found out how he can brand himself and how he can build an image for himself. And what did he do? He went to Quora and started writing answers there. He wrote really good answers and they were truly like articles. And he would uh, really look at what the best were doing and he would try to copy that and try to learn from them and learn from his mistakes as well. And what, what happened in the next few months, because he was a good writer even before he joined Quora, is his articles, let's say articles or the answers that he posted on Quora, they were uh, published by some of the top newspapers in America. And that's how his career started going. He saw that uh, he can write even more content and he really concentrated on that to the point where uh, news sites were asking him if they can get his answers from Quora to post on their website and on their newspaper. And later on, he even uh, researched more and more on how people write those articles for, let's say, New York Times. And he would write his answers on Quora the same way as he would write an article for New York Times. And guess what? His answers got published on New York Times. He has a really interesting story. You can check him out. His name is Nicholas Cole. And I just wanted to share that with you just to know that you can really start your career if you put in the right work and you know what you are doing. Now, don't get me wrong. This wasn't done in one week to where he got to that position. He had to do this for two years. And now he's really uh, enjoying the benefits of his work. That is basically it for this video. Like I said, just to do a quick recap. You make your profile, follow some topics that you know about and that have followers. You go to questions, answer them as best as you can. If you can, add in your website in there. If you can't, better luck next time or just uh, add some useful links in there. Check out Nicholas Cole and let me just show you the stats that even I have gotten from Quora. So you guys can know that this thing really can bring you a lot of traffic. Now, this is from all time, and as you can see, I've collected around 30K views on all of my answers. And that, in turn, results in traffic from Quora. Now, Quora doesn't have really necessarily the best traffic in the world, but if you get numbers like this daily, you're really going to get good amount of traffic, no matter how bad or good it is. That is pretty much it about this video. See you in the next one.